Hey channel, Fernando from SkyFi Audio. It is the month of July and I thought I'd go over the latest arrivals as we have every month uh, of recent history. So a bunch of speakers um, just arrived, uh, some Proact D28s. Uh, if you know we're big fans of Proacts at the shop. It's one of the best British monitor speakers in our opinion. Uh, these are D28s, full standing or floor standing speakers in a black ash, real nice condition and well cared for. Um, these will sound just a little bit bigger than a response 2s or 1.5s with the same sort of proac sound. Uh, standing next to them are some Lin Toucans on stands. The pretty cool looking speaker, a bit of an odd look but interesting and fit at home in the right decor. Looking at the back of them uh, they do have inputs for by wire and the stands are screwed on to the, the two cans. A real cool uh, small monitor. Uh, moving over this way, we've got some totem forests. These usually go quickly. Um, it's a modestly sized floor standing speaker from totem, about middle of the range for them. Uh, also in black ash, so the model is in fact a forest and they are by wireable. And a matching center channel speaker. It's not the, the forest model, but it is meant to go with, with this pair or other similar um, totem speakers. This happens to be a Model 1 center signature, also by wire in black ash. Um, moving over this way, the uh, Lin LP12 that we just finished. There's a separate video for this if you're interested in knowing more about it. Um, Yes, back over here on speakers, these Macintosh, um, about a 15 year old pair of line arrays from Macintosh. I don't recall the exact model, but they're about six feet tall um, and great for filling a large room. Uh, line array speakers are able to project pretty far into the room, so those are, are pretty neat. They're also very thin, about four inches in depth. Um, looking over our speaker inventory, some Sonos Fiber Ornaries. Um, and not much else in terms of speakers. These 802 uh, Series 90. I did a video on those uh, a couple weeks ago. That's Matrix 802. Scan them back this way. Let's see, we've got a well tempered turntable getting packed up, ready to go to its new home. Oh, this name system is pretty neat. Uh, this came from a single home. This was actually matched with the Proax I just showed you. It's a CD5i, they're in the X uh, streamer DAC, NAC202, NAP250. Really neat stack, all complete with all the right wiring. Um, show you the internals of a CD player. I always love how these name players open up. So CD streamer preamp and amp, matching remotes. We're gonna offer this as a complete set. Also, uh, and then over time, we'll break it up into different pieces. Um, let's take a look at the back. You can see the antennas for the streamer section. This can do Tidal, this can do Rhapsody, Spotify. Quite a, quite a cool and the 5 xs streamer. Let's see. Back on Bay 2, there's nothing new here. But as you can see, we've got our reference sort of Macintosh systems, vintage on the left and modern on the right. Um, or JBL speakers that you might be familiar with. Here's a Barris and Wilkins Center speaker. If you've got some older CDM speakers, this might be a great match for you. Model is a CDM CNT and by wireable in this sort of traditional cherry finish from Barris and Wilkins. I imagine this is going to have the Kevlar drivers. All right, on the bench, here's the well timber arm. That's getting shipped out. Now TD-160, this just came in for a client of Thorns TD-160. This is a, a current generation uh, Thorns turntable at around the five, $6,000 price range. So I will be doing an unboxing video on this shortly if you wanna know more details on it. And then we're gonna experiment and see what the right cartridge is for it. Circling back in the photo booth, there's a moon, 
appears to be a DAC, a 300D DAC. And some cables. Oh, uh, Class A audio CD player, CD DVD1. Just getting ready, uh, just sorted some issues with the transport and getting ready to list this. And then back over this way, uh, this is the 1000 ZLX project that is active right now. I just got the parts to take this to the next step. Um, so watch out for a follow-up video on the 1000 ZXL, which is the sort of the flagship of Nakamichi tape decks and uh, a real interesting project that we've got active right now. And then on my test bench, um, I got a CR7A going through its final paces. Uh, this one is ready to rock and roll. Just need to go through the record functions once again and make sure everything's aligned properly. Um, ben is working on a Marantz Model 250. I think uh, we've sorted it out electronically and now it's just waiting for the meters to get uh, reworked. They do get sticky and and non-responsive over time, so those are waiting for some uh, some TLC before going back into this Model 250. And then on the queue for testing or repair, we've got a Corel, I think there's a 160 monoblock amplifier, we're checking internally, we've got a RHEL 7i subwoofer, Class A SSP25, oh, this is neat, a Tamburg TR2080 receiver, this is going to be a beautiful piece. Can't wait to see this lit up. A Rogue Audio and another REL subwoofer. So that might be the 7i. This might be a smaller one. Let's see. Oh, this is a neat amp. The McCormick uh, Drive DNA 1. Um, it's working really well. We just need to do a final test on it. That should post pretty quickly. Nothing on the turntable test bench. Or at least not right now. Um, I think that covers it. Just show you a peek at the Bay 3. These are our cello Stradivari speakers. Just finished uh, doing all the touch up on them. They came out really, really nice. And our reference name system from the, from the 1980s. This is the Olive series. Active uh, loudspeakers, three amplifiers crossover, preamp, power supplies, and then CD player. So it's a pretty cool full name system. Also, you can see that on our website. And I think that covers it. Well, I don't know if I showed you this. This is the Guard 401 build I just finished. Um, put an SME tone arm on it. It's a Series 5 beautiful plinth. It's a walnut with chrome accents. And a totally redone 401 drive. So it's a really cool project we just finished up. And I think that's about it. So um, SkyFi Audio is our website if you want to see some of these items. Um, we probably have over 500 things online at this point. And please subscribe if you find these videos useful. We've earned your trust. And um, Give us a call if you'd like to visit or, or inquire about any other product. Thanks for watching.